The next chapter is really the software architecture. Increasingly, the differentiation and new features are coming through software, which means that you know, the entire vehicle needs to be more software defined to enable those feature sets, to enable them to be managed throughout their full life cycle. The next generation of SVA is clearly addressing this by creating layers like a device abstraction layer on the zone controller, like a vehicle abstraction layer on top of the CDC. Every abstraction layer costs energy, costs computing power. Currently, we are really very much at the limit of available computing power. So we need more powerful SOCs to allow us this abstraction. We definitely have challenges um, with heat in controllers because as the computing power is increasing, also the heat dissipation is increasing and we definitely need here new, new concepts, cooling concepts. There are innovative concepts with aluminum cooling, liquid cooling and very small tubes you can add on. Smart vehicle architecture isn't just the low voltage side of the vehicle. It's also the high voltage, the power electronics piece. We bring together the low voltage and the high voltage uh, electrical distribution system. We're also going to see from a hardware standpoint solutions that are more automatable. And our experience with whether it's bus bars, high power wiring, the onboard charging, the low voltage electronics, the interconnects, that experience has allowed us to really reimagine how the high voltage side of the electrical architecture should be packaged. We are pushing more and more software entities into one controller. It means if you don't have freedom of interference, we will then later on have to test it more often because any change in one of these portions of software will cause a complete test of the whole unit. How do we allow upgrade and update of features without having to retest the entire system? First, we will evolve into serverization. How do you make sure that you can use the resources where you actually need them? The second part is the containerization. That means you can update part of the software, part of the functions, without having to test the entire system, like if you had a monolithic software development. What we offer is an architecture, is a tool chain, is a set of hardware components that would allow the customer to define where and what he wants to use, what he wants to offer to his customer.